The movie opens with World War II planes flying over the skies of Britain. Nazi Germany is planning to invade Britain and is using these Fisher planes to make it easier for themselves and Britain's defense force is getting smaller and smaller by the day. One of these days, four planes are flying across the sky, coming back from an intense battle, and they all land one by one on a grassy field. They look tired and beaten up from hours of flying. Skip steps out of his plane and asks another pilot about his friend Clark, but the friend only sees another pilot getting shot down. Skip is concerned and asks the other pilots, but they still haven't seen Clark, but they haven't, and they just walk away. They all walk into the shed and Walker crosses out the names of Clark and Digby, showing that they're dead. He then goes around the room asking how many planes they shot down, and they tell him their numbers. Walker is upset that they're losing to the Germans, but these pilots are young and inexperienced. Cooper asks Skip about when more pilots will arrive, but Skip has no idea when that will be. While Sharp pulls out some paper from his pocket, which looks like a letter, but Skip still hasn't given up on Clark as he talks to his commanding officer about needing more pilots, and he is told that they will arrive soon, and is immediately asked when he can get back in the air. They'll be up in 15 minutes, and Walker is resting until then. Skip walks back inside and gets offered a game of cards by Cooper, but he declines, and so does Sharp, who is too much into his letter that he's writing to his mother. But when Skip asks about things being all right, Sharp is clearly shaken, so Skip calms him down, telling him is a great pilot and to keep his chin up. Later on, Cooper is checking out a ring that he's got in a box when he sees a plane flying past. It's Nancy, his girlfriend, and he kisses her as she gets off the plane. He takes her on a walk, and after looking around, he wanted to ask her to marry him but got scared and just told her about his previous flight. Walker then brags about his 11 takedowns, but Cooper is right there saying he'll beat him and win that money and marry Nancy. Walker then tells Nancy about Cooper having gone drinking the other night, which was meant to be a secret. In his office, Skip is writing a letter of condolence to Clark's parents, and he looks devastated. During this, the radio is telling the news that the country is experiencing heavy bombings, especially London. Someone calls Skip outside, and as soon as he jumps out, he sees only one pilot, Stanhope, coming as support, but he has no flight experience. Skip shows Stanhope his new plane. He seems excited just to get close to a plane, let alone fly it. Walker then comes up and tells him some info about the plane that scares Stanhope, but Skip tells him to stop it. But Walker is just being honest with the new pilot. Stanhope jumps right inside the plane, and Skip gives him some warnings about the plane. Inside the shed, he introduces Stanhope to everyone, and Cooper greets him right away and makes fun of Skip about football. Then Stanhope sees the board and asks what it is. Walker tells him it's their kill counts, and the first person to 13 wins the money, and Stanhope immediately asks to get in the bet, so Walker writes his name on the board and takes the money from him. When Walker reaches for Sharp's letter, he quickly stops him, and Skip tells them to stop it. Then suddenly the phone rings, and they're given new coordinates to go fight. Everyone runs out to their planes and jumps right in to take flight. Stan gets into his plane also, just like the rest, and everyone gets ready to take to the skies. The brakes are removed as the pilots lock themselves in and start their engines. They all roll over to their runway and take off as a unit. It's now time to fight as the planes make their way to the location given to them. As they soar through the sky, everyone is getting ready for a fight, and they're all focused and ready, and Skip tells them to watch their fuel and focus on the bombers. They dive into the path of the planes, and the fighting starts immediately when Stan sees someone on his tail and panics. Cooper shoots down a bomber and is getting confident. Sharp is confused on what to do just like Stan, but Stan gathers himself and shoots down another plane. Cooper meets some planes head-on but can't manage to shoot any of them. Sharp still has the plane on his tail, and he's starting to panic as it starts to shoot at him. Cooper is on a roll as he shoots down another bomber and gets his kill count up to 10. In his panic, Sharp can't shake off the enemy plane, and it manages to shoot him. Skip tells him to bail out, not knowing that he's been shot, but he quickly realizes it and tells the rest to go back to base. So the rest of the surviving pilots make their way back to base as they think about losing their friend Sharp. They land on the grass again, but they're all quiet because they've lost a close friend. Stan jumps out of his plane and is shaken by the experience, and Cooper tells him good work when he sees him throwing up. Back inside, Walker crosses out Sharp's name and asks Cooper how many kills he got, and he tells him two. He then asks Skip, who says none, and he already knows Stan has one kill. Cooper gives Stan a cup of tea, who looks confused and shocked as he drinks his tea. Walker then reaches for Sharp's letters, but Skip quickly stops him and takes the letters away. But Walker still wants to see acting heartless, which upsets Cooper, who almost gets in a fight until they're stopped by Skip, who tells Walker to get out. Later that day, the base captain gets a document telling him that lots of planes have been taken down from the British Air Force. The captain is frustrated that he's stuck here behind a desk instead of being out in the fight, so he makes the decision to get back in the sky and walks out. Cooper and Stan are talking about Nancy while Walker is sleeping again. Walker asks him about how he's feeling about the new base, and he says he's getting comfortable with it, but Walker doesn't want to hear too much from him because he might die soon, and Cooper is upset by that because he used to care.
care and has now become heartless. Skip has put his condolence letter for the parents of Sharp when the team walks in and takes a seat. Skip asks Stan about how he's adjusting, and he seems to be doing well. But then they get another call, and they have to go back up again. They run out to their planes like last time and load up to get back into the fight. They're now in the sky, looking for the fight. Skip tells them to look out, and Walker takes a dig at Cooper about the bet. But Cooper is also ready, and they get a warning about stopping other business from Skip. They then see the enemy fleet across the sky and prepare themselves to engage. Skip tells them to hold formation, but Walker breaks off and heads right for the enemy, and the rest have to follow him now. The fighting intensifies and chaos comes across the sky, with the squad flying around the German fleet trying to get a kill, and they seem to be overwhelmed, but there is no fear in their eyes. Then Walker sees a target and moves down to engage and shoots. Back on the ground, Skip is furious at Walker for disobeying orders and breaking formation. Walker is pleased with himself as he walks away from Skip, who pulls him back, but Walker stands by his actions because he thinks that people are going to die anyway, but everyone has made it back. So Walker doesn't see the point in any of this, because the job is to just fight the enemy. Skip warns him there won't be coming back if he does this next time and storms off. Cooper and Stan were watching all of this and decided to go for a walk. Back in the shed, Walker sits down and asks Skip what he actually meant by the warning. Skip has calmed down now and tells Walker that he won't get him kicked off because he's a good pilot and the rest of the squad looks up to him. Walker is supposed to be an example to the troops, but he doesn't see it that way. But Skip gets serious and asks him to sit down. He gives him the letter that Sharp was writing, and as he read it, he couldn't keep himself from getting emotional. As Cooper and Stan walk, Cooper tells him about the reason why Walker and Skip can't get along, because Walker became heartless after losing a friend in the war and got drunk, and Skip was promoted instead of Walker. Back at the shed, they get a call to go back up, and Walker finally sees that Sharp admired him, even though he treated Sharp terribly. They get back in the air, and Walker is back to his confident self, and the rest of the team rally behind him, and they end up shooting down lots of German planes. But Walker is in a league of his own, talking down planes non-stop, one after the other. After the mission, they land, and Stan runs over to see Skip Pale. He's been shot. He asks Walker if they're still friends, and Walker is now crying as he doesn't want to lose his friend. Walker can't keep his tears inside as Skip passes away in his seat. The base captain then sees what's happening and tells Walker he'll take care of it. The rest of the team cover up Skip as Walker cleans himself up of the blood and can't keep his emotions in check. Later on, Cooper is also pissed about losing his skipper and then walks out to see Stan. They talk about Nancy and tell him to not become involved with anyone because it just makes things much worse in the war. Cooper regrets not asking Nancy to marry him and Stan comforts him about it. As the evening falls, Walker is sitting outside watching the planes fly by and he is still devastated about losing Skip. That night, Stan can't sleep and finds Cooper reading who tells him it will get easier once he gets used to the environment. When Stan was about to get back to sleep, Walker comes in offering a drink and it was harder than Stan thought and he ends up coughing. They all take a drink, dedicating it to Skip. Walker leaves the team and goes into the cabin that Skip used as an office and takes the bet money and puts it in an envelope, leaving the money for Cooper and Nancy. The next morning, Nancy is flying her plane and the skies are quiet. When she landed at the base, a mechanic told her that Skip had died the previous day and she was surprised because she thought that Skip was one of those pilots that never dies. Nancy then goes inside the cabin to find Walker. She tells him how sorry she is and he just tells her that Cooper is still asleep and keeps a smile on his face. She then finds the envelope that he left for her and Cooper. She wants to give it back, but he's not letting her do that. The base captain receives an urgent command and calls the boys. Walker picks up and they need to get back up into the sky. They wake up and get into their planes and rush out, but Cooper sees Nancy and gives her a hug. But before he proposes, she stops him and tells him to do it when he comes back. The sky is filled with German bombers and everyone must be prepared for a fight. The team takes off, ready to defend their base. They get up in the air and the fight starts immediately. Everyone fights heroically as the bombers get closer and closer. The fight is happening everywhere when Cooper gets his engine shot and can't shake off the enemy plane and gets shot himself. His plane crashes and the team sees it going down, but they must continue the fight. Walker's oil line is now broken and oil sprays over his screen and now he can't see anything. Stan gets over to help, but he has an enemy pilot in him too. Walker is up next and he takes a shot in his stomach, but he can't stay conscious and crashes down. Stan is the only one left and he gets saved when reinforcements arrive. As the movie ends, Stan lands and goes into the cabin and sees the letters that Walker and Skip wrote for the dead pilots, and he gets emotional and erases the names off the board. But he gets new pilots, and now the cycle has to start all over again. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.